I'm former NFL player turned chef Darrell Smith, and I'm on a mission to spread love through food, giving a fresh new twist on home cooked meals. <laughs> it's all mad good food. It's your favorite chef, and guess what? Today I went to the farmer's market. This trip inspired me to use all fresh ingredients in my recipes today. Let's get started. We're gonna make a dough for a mushroom cavatelli pasta. We have two cups of AP flour. We have a third of a cup of semolina. We have a little bit of salt. I'm gonna mix my eggs in a different bowl. We got four eggs and two yolks. There we go. All you want to do is combine this egg with this flour. While you're stirring, you just want to make sure you get those edges all into the middle, and it's starting to become nice and yellow. We're just going to dust our board a little. All right? And transfer our dough onto the board. There we go. Look at that. You want to take this dough and fold it into itself. Bring it up, fold it, and push it down. And just like that, you got a perfect dough. We'll put this in the fridge, I would say about 30 minutes. We'll put this on a medium heat. To that, we're gonna add some water, I would say about a cup. Got a little sugar. This is going to be the syrup for our spiced apple cobbler. While that's doing what it does, we have about six Fuji apples that we've cut up into nice cubes. To that, we've got some brown sugar. We got some lime zest. We got some lime juice. Fresh grated nutmeg. About a half a teaspoon. Okay. Now, all I want to do is just stir all of these ingredients into my apples. And then finally, we'll add our amaretto. Our water is starting to come to a light boil, and now I'll add my apples to this. One stick of butter. All I want to do is put this into a cast iron and let that melt. We've got a cup and a half of self-rising flour, a little bit of salt. Next, you can take some milk. Don't overmix. And what you're looking for is almost like a pancake batter. Our apples are boiled, so we'll add this to our bowl. And I would truly recommend using fresh apples. Syrup is looking good. I want to add some of that liquid back to our apples. All right, and just let those steep in there. We have our melted butter. We're going to take that batter and just ladle that right on top all around. Finally, we're gonna take these apples and we're just gonna scoop these all around the top. You put it in the oven, 380 degrees, I would say about 35 minutes, and you just want that crust to puff up and become nice and golden brown. We got oyster mushrooms, and we have shiitake mushrooms, and we're gonna use these for our pasta dish. Into a pan, I'm gonna pour just a little bit of olive oil. And I want to begin to sweat this pancetta dough. Little garlic. Pancetta's looking good. Now, we're going to add just a little bit of sherry. And light it on fire. Next. We'll add our mushrooms. We need to use a little bit of rosemary. Yeah, that's looking good. I'll use a little bit of black pepper. Pasta looks good. So we're gonna take this, cut it into quarters. And all I wanna do is design our cavatelli pasta using this lovely instrument right here. To do that, we're gonna roll these out using our hands. There we go. It's looking good. We'll go down and we'll say about maybe a half an inch. All I'm gonna do is roll this into a little ball, and then I'll take my thumb 
and just roll it right across. We got that little divot in there. It looks like a fingerprint. We're gonna drop it in. And we'll just leave this in here. You'll know it's ready once it starts to float up to the top. All right? Pasta's dropped. We come back. I'm gonna turn this pasta into a mushroom medley cavatelli dish. So stay tuned. At Honda, we know you have to drive through the mud if you want to reach the rainbow. The all-new CRV and CRV hybrid, part of the Honda line of rugged vehicles. Hey, honeys, we're back. And the pasta's done, so we'll turn that off and begin to make the sauce for our mushroom medley cavatelli. To begin, we got a little bit of butter, some Parmesan, lemon, and pasta water. I'm gonna add just a little bit of butter. We'll just get that going on the bottom. There we go. Butter's nice and melted. We'll begin to ladle our pasta into our mushrooms. Oh, sweet, sweet music. So now that we have this in here, I'm just going to begin to toss it around. And now, little Parmesan and our pasta water. And this is gonna create that delicious sauce. This will be a good time to add a little bit of thyme. Hey, booze, y'all watching me? Okay. Little more pasta water. And now will be a good time to add in our lemon. Little bit of salt. And just a little bit of pepper to taste. And now it's time to eat. I'm getting a big helping of you. All right, apple pie, the American dream. My God. I feel like grocery shopping at the farmer's market was one of the best decisions I've ever made. Peace you at home. Cheers. <laughs>